we forgot to educate our children go around and look at dilapidated schools the education environment must be decent enough for pupils who want to learn he continues we can complain from now till eternity that the school enrollment is low but did we do anything to encourage the enrollment process we must ask ourselves because it's a matter of conscience so come back tomorrow i have something to show you guys i have done so much for nigeria and i am still doing greetings to all of you my amazing subscribers and of course if you're new welcome my name is lillian my special shout out to all of you that have been here for a very long time thank you so much for supporting me god will bless you for those of you that seized my vision you saw the message i was trying to pass in my videos even though i didn't know the right way to do it i mean i am supposed to be eloquent i'm supposed to be calm i'm supposed to be diplomatic even though i couldn't pull off all of that a lot of you understood and you see the message i was trying to pass and and uh, now you won't believe that <laughs> the news is out there we are getting there like we are closer to the goal and that is a goal drawing the attention of our government to the plight of the people i like you not a lot of our presidents apart from president good luck Ebele, jonathan i don't think there is any other president that can't relate to what i have been talking about like that can relate to the life of a regular Nigerian, a Nigerian who has nobody abroad, a Nigerian who basically had nothing but depends 100% on the resources provided by the government of Nigeria. So a lot of them had no idea except, of course, good luck, Jonathan. So sometimes I feel like I can't blame them entirely because they didn't have to go through all that. So I felt like, okay, maybe through my videos, you know, I could tell somebody to maybe I wasn't even doing it for it to get directly to Tinubu. I mean, to the president, to people in power. I was doing it for my fellow Nigerians to see and get angry, then take to the streets. You understand? I was pushing them to go and fight for their right. But hey, guess what? <laughs> That is not the case. We have gone straight to Aso Rock. Remember, there was a time an article was published on a national newspaper about Nigerian YouTubers in Ghana, right? Do you remember? I was angry. I was scared for my life and the life of my innocent family in Nigeria. But it has paid off finally. So thank you guys for supporting me on this journey. Yeah. So how did it work? Now we are going to take a look at what happened. All the former presidents of Nigeria, the ones that are still alive, like Buhari, IBB, Abdul Ad Karim, is it Abdul Karim? Good luck, Jonathan, Obasanjo. So they all came together and summoned President Tinumbu. This happened in Mina, the capital of Niger State, north central of Nigeria. Though the meeting was a, a private one, it was an indoor one. The press were not allowed access to whatever they were discussing. So it was after the meeting, they started throwing shade at each other. Abdul Karim or Abdul Salim, Abdul Salim. <laughs> one of our former presidents who was a temporary president he threw shades at the current government and, and the current president has this to say so let's take a look at that together and i'll be back president bola met Tinubu convened not too long ago and there was no public disclosure as to why they were absent at that meeting there was a dramatically announced vote of confidence in support of the president wouldn't it have been better for all the generals as the former head of state who have attended such a meeting and make their views known at the council of state meeting which is a statutory forum which has some measures of accountability to the public than this they are coded gathering in mina with its real purpose and deliberations completely shrouded in secrecy it is this lack of accountability and disdain for transparency that defined military dictatorship from which Nigeria suffered for quite too long. But that's in the past, we thank God. So let us appeal to our retired generals to conduct their public roles as statesmen in a more open and accountable way than this overly encrypted gathering that leaves everyone guessing 
and that is capable of inducing some political temperature that we don't need. For instance, after the Mina meeting, there were no communiques, and this led to insinuations in the press and speculations that the generals met to find a way to get rid of the incumbents, possibly at the polls. Soon after the meeting in Mina, a statement was made by General Absalami referencing the hardship in the land, and we should listen to what the president had to say, apparently in response. The president, President Tinubu, spoke at a meeting with some former presiding officers of the National Assembly, led by Senator Ken Namani. This is what he said. He said, yes, there is, there is hardship, but how did we get here? What did we do when we had very high crude production? We neglected our communities. We neglected the goose that lays the golden eggs. We forgot even to give them a good standard of living. The president continues, and I quote, We forgot to educate our children. Go around and look at dilapidated schools. The education environment must be decent enough for pupils who want to learn. He continues, we can complain from now till eternity that the school enrollment is low, but did we do anything to encourage the enrollment process? We must ask ourselves because it's a matter of conscience. Unquote. If the president was responding to the three generals, we agree entirely with him. A lot of the responsibility for Nigeria's retrogression since after independence must be traced back to military rulers. Congratulations to all of us. Thank you for thank you guys for all you have done on this channel. Okay, how did they get to know that they are? How did the presidents of Nigeria get to know that they are dilapidated structures, schools around the country? Because all of a sudden, this is coming up. This has never come up before. They have always been, oh, okay, everything is good. Everything is good. Oh, everything is good. So it simply means that social media has played an important role. It's playing. Social media is playing an important role in all of this. Because normally, the traditional media in my country, they have something they call editor. Before a video or an article be allowed to to be made public the editor-in-chief has to decide oh this no 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 don't put this most of the time in fact all of the time these editors-in-chief are highly corrupt and apart from corruption they are afraid for their life i don't know who remember a journalist that was killed in lagos nigeria his name is bayo can you remember bayo who he was assassinated and his laptop, I mean his phone and laptop taken away and some documents. Up till this minute, nothing was. The Nigerian police were unable to arrest anyone in connection with the murder of this journalist. And if we are going to throw back, if you're an elder in the building, be you Ghanaian or from other African countries, you might have heard of a journalist called Dele Giwa. A lot of you may still remember Dele Giwa, right? That was, that was killed through a letter bomb. A letter was sent to him and inside of the envelope, there was bomb in it. By the time they delivered it to him, he picked it up to read and that was how the bomb blew him. He died. That was many, many years ago during the IBB regime. That is Ibrahim Babangida's regime. Up until did the killers of Delegiwa were nowhere to be found. So that sent a strong message to all the editors in chief of all the dailies, national dailies, and of course, electronic media as well in Nigeria. So you cannot, there are things you cannot put out there, but <laughs> I don't know how they did it. Many years later, social media came and you know, my people, we embraced it. One, there's no, there are no opportunities for a regular Nigerian. So for some of us that love to create, it. We have taken to social media to express ourselves, to live, entertain, and even from there, and even earn a living from there. So now people are free to put out information, and a lot of the times the people doing this are faceless. You can't trace them, and there are too many. So how many, how many of these social media users are you going to hold accountable? So this has helped us to achieve this video where a sitting president has publicly that there are no schools in nigeria so you can see we are going somewhere but nigerians are the only citizen in the world that sees no wrong in their politicians the only time a nigerian 
will blame his government, his politician, is when he murdered somebody, he stole from other people, he indulged into illegal businesses. So when they are arrested, they will blame their government. All right. But say to sit down and say, oh, let us come together and speak in one voice. They won't do it. The only time Nigerians spoke in one voice, I'm going to be hated for this, but I'll say it, was during the NSAS protest. NSAS had it good and it bad. A lot of us knew about this, but we played along. We didn't want to offend anybody. So we played along by supporting, supporting it. A lot of people supported NSAS not because they had an idea of what it is. Normally, normally, if we want to tell ourselves about NSAS and why it was so strong and powerful, it is because Yahoo boys are involved. Do you understand? People with illegal businesses were involved. Them too, they, like they felt like the best way to defend their business is to join the protest to NSAS. Some Nigerians were doing it for a good cost. But why NSAS was so powerful was not just because of the good cost in it. It was because of what the Yahoo boys stand to gain from it. Remember, this unit happened to be the only unit that was was very focused on tackling cybercrime in Nigeria and other criminals like arm robbers, car snatchers, rapists, you know, issues like that. They, that body was assigned for that. So you can see, even though they went extra mile to do going as far as killing the innocent ones, you know, everybody, whether you are innocent or not, even though at some point they were accused of killing innocent youths and says if you want to go deep is deeper than we know it's deeper than we want people to know so i'm not saying that NSAS was a bad idea what i'm saying in this video is NSAS we were so united because we had bad people who wanted to end SAS as well as the good people who wanted to end SAS the good ones were trying to end SAS because of it has gone from dealing with criminals to dealing with innocent citizens but some other guys the yahoo boys the other guys the robbers everybody came together that is the only time that I have seen have seen the youth of my country comes together to fight. Some regions that are in the habit of saying, Oh, we will not go to a protest, we will not join they all joined. It tells you something, all right? It tells you something. <laughs> so yeah, see, since then till now, there have never been another protest that was as powerful as that one. Nigerians don't see wrong in their government. They don't see anything wrong. If you talk, they will come and defend. And in this video, I'm going to play a series of videos of Nigerians, hungry ones. People, when they say they're hungry, if God forbids, YouTube blink today say okay blink it's okay you know what there's too much corruption in Africa precisely Nigeria so we we don't want to have anything to do with them we want to back out we want to we want to demonetize all the channels in Nigeria do you know that a lot of these people that are here that I'm going to display their videos here they will take to the street to beg do you know that do you know that okay you don't know america can do it that is how they have been rolling when they see that a country is messed up the country don't treat its citizens right they don't treat their women and children right america usually disassociate themselves from a country like that if we nigerians don't come together do something <laughs> i can see that coming and you see these people i'm going to display in this video you won't believe what will become of their lives where do i start from because i got a couple of them okay let's start with this woman i've done a video on her before right i've talked about this oh no 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 let's start with this one she is in charge of the bread winning for her husband like she has a husband they they are from my region right they are southerners and i understand our women if you want to marry a hey, momo momo eh, hey, call me momo momo for love i've been adding sing that song marry a nigerian woman and marry a southerner so this auntie here has something to say about other african countries and i think this is she's talking to south africans because she have been rolling with south africans she got the views from them the banter is over in our usual ungrateful manners she's now calling south africa cro cro she's calling them cro cro country listen to this Melissa said just today at the office we are having discussion about how our Nigerian brothers and sisters are quick to talk down 
about our country at the slightest opportunity for praise other country. God forbid, but to make a consider the praise one cocoa country for waiting. When I know say they get their own, they do. I used to shop on AliExpress. I cannot shop again. Why? Dollar is almost one thousand six on, on in the bank. I went to the bank of, on which day was it on Monday or Tuesday? Dollar is from the bank rate to dollar is one thousand five hundred and seventy naira when I store dollar. So if I want to buy something that I used to buy on AliExpress for four hundred before, it's now one thousand uh, per dollar. Pardon me, it's now one thousand five something per dollar. Ah, I want to pay. I just close my eyes. I did not shop. That's a problem. You cannot come and be mocking Nigerians and laughing. Me, instead of me to come and mock my country, I will bring out the problem that is inside your country that I'm seeing online and make content out of it. But in the morning, I cross, cross, so I know they do. The Philippines has a bad government too. I can relate to you. Thank you, Erica. May God help us. Our very bad governments all over the world, Nigeria, uh, every country. What can we do? But uh, I will never bring my country down for those people mm. because they have a lot of issue in their own country. Thank you, everyone. We are having another live stream at 8 p.m. Hopefully, they will not bring light. If they don't bring light, it's not dark. Now we'll go to Dwan. <laughs> because I never agree by fair for now. Although this is my area, I will not lie you. If I lie, God now go see me. We, we, I can hit my chest that we have 24 hours light. Now, you guys, hold on. Oh. Before the beginning of the live stream, listen to this woman. Oh. Listen to her. Oh. <laughs> Just please listen to her. She has not dragged me because she knows that I am beyond dragging. All of them, they know me. When they see me, <laughs> they run because I am not the regular. They are dragging other YouTubers who have suddenly changed tunes, you know, to speak the right tune. All my newly recruitees, they are dragging them. But you see these people, they can, they can drag Lily because, you know, now, you know how we roll here. Then they fear me, past native doctor. Sorry if this is going to turn you off. For me, I know my people and I know why you see me fighting back. I come up, but like you see me, you see me on YouTube, drag these people and hold them on their neck, right? Because if you don't do them that, they will start to drag you. They know that they cannot talk about me and go free. If my fans don't come for you, I will come for you. And sometimes my fans will come for you and I will still come for you. So she can't mention my name, but I'm not saying she's talking to me. Of course, she dare not. Even if she's talking to me, she can't mention my name or use my picture on her thumbnail. Except maybe after this video, she can, because she likes to dare people. Let's listen to a woman who is talking. Oh, hold on. Well, I know you said that we did Welcome, thank you so much for coming to the live stream. YouTube, please do what you know how to do, which is push this video out for me. Thank you. So guys, when you come out and, you know, try to say the things that are going on in your country, you know, it looks like you're trying to bring down your country. You know, you don't like your country. How can you do certain things concerning your country? But these are some of the problems we have. You know, you are, if you are in, those that are abroad would relate totally and completely. If you're abroad and you want to go live, you will not be experiencing network fluctuating. Like, look at my second phone. I'm trying to assess something and it's not even loading. Do you guys understand? So, these are the reasons why you know people would come outside sometimes because of how they are feeling concerning certain things about you know nigeria and start talking and you look as if oh you ate your country you hey guys these are the struggles these are the struggles of being in nigeria and these are the struggles of being in nigeria why you come and tell me come out Or anything to anybody but through as nigerians in nigeria oh you are you are you are, you are, you are. look at because my network is is, is doing me a assess anything my I don't know. Can you hear me? 
the things and when you talk about Nigeria, people will say of being a Nigerian. These are part of the day to day. These are living in Nigeria. These are these as I said earlier on YouTube that is going on in Nigeria. Yeah, in Nigeria is that be our like how how we like oh, for a network and I'm getting for so after paying a hundred thousand for it an extra twenty thousand router is not working then I if you spent a hundred and twenty thousand You see that woman struggling to 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 spot um, she's talking, you can't hear her, right? It's her internet. The internet is bad. Let me tell you something. If you pay for unlimited for here here in Ghana, every month I spend four hundred Ghana CDs on my internet bundle. And you know me as a heavy internet user. It takes me sometimes few days above a month, few into few weeks after a month. It takes me for more than one month, right? And I don't deal with this. Now she wants to talk, you can't hear her. She's telling instead of her to channel her energy into complaining about things, she's coming to call other African countries Koro Koro. She's talking to South Africans because she has been doing videos on South Africa for some time. South Africans actually viewed the video. You see, you see this particular woman during the banter between Nigerians and South Africa. This woman, you need to hear what she was saying about Nigeria. I went to the channel. I realized that she have quickly private those videos. She have private them. She was saying things in support of South Africans, and um, and she was getting the views. Now the banter has died. All the things she said she wasn't going to do on her channel, she have gone back to them because there is no creative idea head empty i know you will see this video because i'm going to put your face on the thumbnail you come for me you know what i do um, i'm saying this so you don't even dream it no just think I'm now let's move to my customer you know my customer i have a customer here that i used to talk about or i used to i used to talk about let's hear her out and i'll be back let's watch her together because these days i have changed the way i do my some of my content because i don't want to wake up and hear that oh youtube have taken down your i don't want anything i don't want to have problem with my channel sources for a better future there are challenges being faced of course we know that we all shall contribute to make the world a better place no matter the circumstances however let us start with our continent especially our country nigeria you i am talking to you why do you derive joy in discrediting my nation, Nigeria? Why do you derive joy in tarnishing the image of our motherland? This is a land that gave you succor. This is a land that gave you the breath of life. This is a land of your ancestors. You cannot destroy your ancestral link and want to stand as a man. Carrying propaganda and destroying the image of your nation will not solve the problem of this country. Sweethearts, this country belongs to us and it is our duty to do our own quota. You are blaming the politicians. What about you? What have you done for Nigeria? You may not have the money. Why don't you use that your platform that you are using to destroy my country's image to speak good of my country? If there is nothing good about my country, then leave. Do away with the passport. You cannot be destroying my country's image and you are busy carrying our passport up and down. Did you hear what I'm saying? Instead of you to speak good of my country, you open your mouth and discredit Nigeria to foreigners. To foreigners. When I know they hear what? 
Now, now they destroy us over there. Go, go and check the online platforms, check social media platforms. Kilo day, now not a tire. God gave you a platform for something. There are times you criticize, and let me tell you, when you are criticizing constructively, we know when you're just being agitated and angry, being sentimental, biased, we know this country will be better join hands let's make this country a better place but for those of you that had signed the deal to continue discrediting nigeria one day hmm. karma will catch up with you karma has already catch up with you madam karma will be your portion karma has catch up with you because you are one of the people that you dislike nigeria so much you want us to all keep quiet so that things will continue to go on that way i know that all these people are going to see this video so karma will catch up with you you see after i dragged this woman here Ghanaians and nigerians came together donated money and gave her so that she can invest on some equipment since she want to promote nigeria because i dragged out some Ghanaians felt for her they felt like okay mm, this is our lily now black sheep but we don't know what to do with her we love her like that she have dragged somebody and it's not good she have broke shamed somebody and it's not good so because they wanted to make up for what i have done that they felt is not right as a good girl they sent her money on my behalf they donated money for her to make up for you know just to say her sorry forgive lily don't mind lily she's been she's like that just manager some nigerians came together give her two thousand one thousand three thousand i mean like 10, 10 cities equivalent right so that she can go and buy better equipment see this woman is still filming with android phone a woman that is talking she's still i don't have issues at some point i have done all of those you know videos she said what have you done for nigeria you guys please i beg you tomorrow by the grace of god tune in here i want to show you what i lillian have done for nigeria it didn't occur to me until i saw a video on amagana Oxava, a youtube channel here the new youtube channel i stumbled on recently it did not occur to me that i could go back to the things that i have done for my country and put them out here because i mean why not <laughs> why not so come back tomorrow i have something to show you guys i have done so much for nigeria and i am still doing i lillian is still doing even out of nothing from the very little that i make from youtube here with all of my own expenses, I still caught inside, still do for my country. And I will show you guys tomorrow. But before I end this video, you see, these are the enemy of Nigeria. Instead of them to focus their energy into showcasing what is the reality in Nigeria, they won't do that. They'll come and sit down, find foreigners to banter with because that is where they profit because of what lack of creativity can't you sit down and create something without involving other nations in your videos fine you say we are not promoting nigeria the best way to do it is by bringing me that thing that you you have been saying you have been accusing me of not promoting that magnificent project show it to me say see it show it to don't show it to me show it to people on your channel instead they won't do that they'll sit down and judge other people god will judge you people you know you una you see una karma has already catch up with you all the money they donated for you to buy equipment you know buy you go buy android phone that your former android phone housewife according to her my husband can provide for me this is the fakest person i have seen on youtube so far a fake nigerian robo woman that i have seen i didn't know that we have southerners like this i mean i didn't know uh, because as a southerner you're not raised to be a coward but because this person has something to do with some region and also she's a member of the current political party in my country which i'm not against neither am i which i'm not for or against you understand i can't hate tinumbu tinumbu is a yoruba man it's my brother it's my uncle do you understand that so before i end the video showing you guys the enemies of nigeria we have one more enemy to display here and i'll end this video hold on 
research in the right places. Don't follow those people who are looking for content by all means to say negative things about Nigeria to, to be glorified so that, you know, no, don't give Ghanaians that right. Don't give South Africans that right to look down on your country. They might be clapping for you. They might be clapping for you. Say, oh, you are a truthful girl. You are saying the truth about your country. You are exposing the things about your country. But you don't know the effect. Tomorrow when your child, tomorrow when your brother, your sister will be traveling to South Africa, your brother or sister will be traveling to Ghana, your brother or sister will be going to another country. Do you know what they will tell them? They will say, this one is a Nigerian. They will not care if that one is a good one or a bad one. They will not care. They will just say, this one is a Nigerian. He should not be allowed. They are this, they are. They, they generalize. You will be generalized. Everybody will be generalized because of people like you who pick up your cameras and say Nigeria is this, Nigeria is that. Do you understand? Yes. Build positive reputation. So as I they follow you, you they follow me. I go to see what you they do. If you I go to police you, you understand? Yes. So come back. Let's build Nigeria. Well, let's let's be positive about Nigeria because it's one of the greatest countries in Africa. It's the greatest country in Africa. It's the giant of Africa. You understand? And I'm not saying that Nigeria is all good. No, there are negative things happen. You and I know, all of us know. You understand? Bet we could keep those negative things aside. Build a positive reputation about this great country because the reputation has been damaged. Has been damaged all over the world. And we need more YouTubers and more people to speak for this country. Make the country look good. Make the country look great. Because the country is indeed a great and amazing country for people to discover. You don't follow the path of those YouTubers in Ghana. Because those YouTubers in Ghana, all of them don't disappear today. My dear, even if you don't like Nigeria, even if you see negative things happening in Nigeria, lock your mouth. Just all the Nigerian YouTubers in Ghana, they don't disappear. <laughs> So, where am I from? <sighs> oh my god, you know, he's not referring to me basically, he's talking to my new recruitee. You know, I've recruited a lot of Nigerians, and I'm you know how powerful I am. I have been recruiting, and I'm still every day I wake up, I see that a Nigerian or two have joined me to do what to speak the truth, to tell our stories, to tell the truth, and because of that, it has gotten to the president, and now the president is angry himself if you're not careful he want to jack back i beg you you have to monitor the airport because wait tinumbu too tinumbu tinumbu wants to jack back yes the president of nigeria wants to run away from nigeria he wants to move abroad too do you understand but i bless god for the opportunity that i have and i thank god that i'm not being selfish i have used it to the glory of my country i mean why should i abandon all those dilapidated schools in my country and come criticize other african countries when they are they are doing it right besides when i was doing the high school series here i was very intentional you know that was like I wanted it to be seen by wanted Nigerians to see it and get mad. And through those videos, I gained one of them. And through, yeah, I, I gained more than one because they started discussing. But those haters of Nigeria came up with the campaign to fight against me and shut me down. They did everything possible. But it was too late because now, now Tinubu is aware. He also wants the same thing for Nigeria. Thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you guys. Those haters, you are the real enemies of Nigeria, okay? But you know me now. You guys can't deal with me. Because me, I'm ready to lose all my subscribers just to drag you guys. And I will, I will tell you things that will make you abandon your YouTube channel. You know me. That is how we roll. Every hater of Nigeria progress. You don't want to see our country progress. If not, what is wrong with what is wrong with putting out things from foreign countries? This channel was built in Nigeria. Yeah, some Nigerians supported me. Of course they did. But years later, I did something in Ghana here. Ghanaians hijacked it because they love what they saw. They hijacked the channel and I gave it to them. And I thank God that happened because without that, Tinumbu would not have seen and made this comment, made this tweet. Himself is angry. The president of Nigeria is angry with the past leaders. So there is hope in sight. Come tomorrow. I want to show you guys some of the things I have done in my country. And I'm still doing. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. To do.